Cooper. Sandra, I couldn't agree with you more. I was just thinking, you know, totally off the first film. award of the evening. Here are the nominees for Best Actor in a Television Series. <laughs> you can constantly question yourself. Ready for the first? The spot of first? Productions and uh, or when I went for auditions and they'd have to drive me for hours somewhere to do it. Uh, Wouldn't be here without these guys. Well, what it was amazing is that Netflix went through all those filters. They, they, the, 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 the fact that it's Mexican in Spanish or black and white or Mixteco was never even mentioned. Everything was going to the core of what this film is about. And, and, and also, I just I have to say, as a first time director, uh, Bradley, he really knocked it out of the park with the music yeah. as well, because yeah. he, he really, really wanted it to be sung live. He wanted it to be recorded live. So, you know. Uh, I think also we're getting to a point where women are taking um, control and um, developing and starting production company, companies and nurturing stories that will give them good roles themselves and other good roles for women. And I really long for the day when it's not just a, a woman's movie, but just a good movie, you know, that it's not character. It's probably fair to say we were reluctant, actually, to uh, approach this format, Roger and myself, you know, but we had this feeling that if we didn't do it and we didn't do it with the right people, then it would get done wrong by somebody and it wouldn't do Freddie justice. So we really, in the interest of, of portraying Freddie as he deserves to be portrayed, we got into it. And if, if one. There's only one thing we needed to do, and that was to celebrate Freddie Mercury in this film. Uh, he is a, a marvel. There is only one Freddie Mercury, and nothing was going to compromise us giving him the love, celebration, and adulation he deserves. <laughs>